What if I were to tell you that Chet Holmgren is currently on pace to become one of the greatest big men of all time? A huge statement, huge words, I understand, but I said on pace, and if we are just looking at rookies, if we are just looking for the next superstar big man, we need to look no further than Chet Holmgren, who has been an early force for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Chet is currently averaging over 17 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 blocks per game, which only 10 players in NBA history have done as a rookie. Every single one of those 10 players has gone on to make the Hall of Fame or will make the Hall of Fame. Not a bad list to be a part of, and I could mention that Chet makes the most three-pointers out of any of those players on that list, but that's too easy. I could also mention that Chet is third in usage rate on the third place team in the Western Conference as just a rookie, but to me, the true sign of greatness of things to come for Chet Holmgren is delivered to us in the form of a rim protection. Secretly in this modern NBA, Chet has shown he can become one of the best defensive bigs the NBA has ever seen. Again, huge words, I get it. In the month of November, Chet not only led the league in shots defended from less than 6 feet, but let's take a look at this list. Opponents shot just 47.1% against Chet at the rim, while they shot an average of 57.6% against the rest of the top. 10. Did I mention that Chet is also averaging 2.1 blocks and 0.9 steals while only averaging 2.8 fouls? This is a rookie. Chet Holmgren is currently putting up historic stats as a rookie. He's on a playoff team and we need to remember he is a former high school national player of the year who as a teenager was once deemed as a potential generational prospect. There is a reason the rest of the NBA is scared of Chet Holmgren's potential and there is a reason why as of right now, it is Chet Holmgren who has jumped Victor Wembanyama to the top of the projected Rookie of the Year voting despite the ridiculous hype of Wemby. How is Chet doing this and what makes him so incredible? Well, what's up guys, Mike here, and I will say if you relentlessly dedicate yourself to your craft, history has shown us that you will succeed at an every point in Chet Holmgren's career so far. He has demonstrated that he is willing to outwork everyone around him. Yes, he is blessed with an incredible body. However, how many seven footers have we seen that have become immobile? He can guard multiple positions and at times he brings the ball up the court for the thunder. And trust me when I say this skill set did not come natural. Maybe if we could have watched Chet in person as a kid, we'd know now how hard he is going to work to become the best player he possibly can be. Because with a young Steph Curry and a young Kevin Durant, we did have a looks can be deceiving type of situation. Both of those players looked very young. However, they grew into absolute on the court killers as they refused to let anything stop them. That is the mindset that Chet has. But before we continue, guys, I am very excited to thank DraftKings for sponsoring today's video because if you did not know, it's been getting cold, but football season has been getting exciting. And I've partnered with DraftKings, an official partner of the NFL, to hook you guys up. Right now, new customers who bet $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That is if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use my promo code Corzemba. And if you've already signed up like me, you are going to get a no sweat bet, which means you are going to get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay does not hit. Max reward limits apply. And if sports betting is not available in your state yet, do not worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. So again, guys, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers, use my promo code Corzemba, bet $5, and you are going to get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code Corzemba only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get back into the video. Chet's a legendary coach at Gonzaga, Mark Few, who has coached over 20 seasons there and has coached over 20 NBA players there, was so impressed and shocked at Chet's work ethic in person that he said, talk about the Thunder there, they're gonna have to physically remove him from the building at times. I knew that in the recruitment process, but to witness firsthand was really, really impressive. The NBA is a long-term game and having a tremendous work ethic is crucial. It is necessary in becoming a Hall of Famer. When Chet first showed up to his AAU team, he was terrible, which meant his trainer was going to come up with a plan. His trainer was going to make Chet quit. I had it planned out. I was going to make him quit. I'm just going to break him today and not waste any more of my time. This could all be hype. 
I needed to see it. Those were the words spoken by Aaron Delaney, Chet's trainer, when Chet was in the eighth grade. When Chet was later told this story, he would say, he never told me that part of the plan, but if that's what he was trying to do, it was never going to work. On that day as an eighth grader, Chet would run through a nearly two hour individual practice session without a word of complaint. He then spent the next 180 straight days working with Delaney relentlessly before unleashing his game at the Iverson Classic. And from there, he has gone from the typical immobile tall kid to a player that is changing the game. It's one thing to say that a player can guard every position in the league. It's one thing to say that a guy can switch on pick and rolls and also defend the rim, but Chet really does it and he does it at the highest of levels already. As a rookie, Chet is an efficiency star. He's currently seventh in the league in defensive rating. He's ninth in win shares per 48 minutes and he is fifth in block percentage. It is incredibly rare for a rookie to play this large of a role on a playoff team, let alone on a team that is currently third in the West. So while Victor Wembanyama came into this season with a clear, projected, brighter future than Chet Holmgren, I would say that future is a lot more murky now. As while Wemby has seemingly played the role of a young NBA star off the court in terms of personality, Chet has put his head down and avoided the spotlight and may have become severely underrated in the process. We watched the greatest power forward of all time, Tim Duncan, employ the same quiet strategy off the court. He was just about his business. And while Duncan did not put up eye-popping stats, he would end his career as a two-time MVP, a five-time NBA champion, and he is known as the greatest power forward to ever live. Chet Holmgren has that Tim Duncan basketball gene, that true desire to win basketball games at any cost, which means both personal effort and at the cost of your own stats sometimes. Chet Holmgren is the type of player who purposely blocks shots in a way so that they stay in bounds in order for his team to retain that possession instead of just punting the ball into the stands. Chet does not care about flash, he cares about winning basketball games. And I think we need to start giving him the respect he deserves because my final question is, what happened to the guy we were all afraid was going to be too skinny? Already at his current weight in the league, Chet has proven he can defend the rim at an absolutely elite level. What happens when he actually puts on muscle? We have certainly seen some crazy transformations before. We saw a Chet Giannis transformation. I think that actually would break the NBA. As for now though, I want to know what you think about Chet Holmgren. I will stand by my words here. I really do believe that Chet is on that path to becoming one of the great big mans if he's able to stay healthy. Right now, out of every young big man, it would be either him or Wembenyama that I would start a franchise with. I believe in Chet. But anyway, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.